Okay, so this video is something completely different to what you have been watching in this channel. The reason to make a different content is because I don't want to close myself. I want to let the experience unfold. You will understand what I'm talking about when you watch the video. I haven't been feeling myself uh, the past few weeks, um, obviously due to all the situation, the lockdown again. It's just difficult to feel good all the time. So I just decided to make a video that could help people and see things in a different way and how you can approach this situation. Um, obviously I'm not an expert, that's why you will see that I contacted someone that knows much more about the subject. Her name is Carol. She's a mentor that is specialized in emotions, the mind, human soul and behavior. She's currently running a program called HEART with a series of workshops which focuses in art, management and well-being. HEART creates a safe space to welcome all that you are so that you can live, express and share from the essence. It's quite challenging to talk, you know, like in general terms and put like 7 billion of people or how they are experiencing it. It's very subjective in a way. This situation is one situation that now we have in common that we are actually aware of but as that we have many many things in common and freedom and mental health and has been topics that had been around already but now like Cardi B says you know shit is getting real and it's more obvious and we are all experiencing something no matter if it's the situation with these restrictions and new ways and uncertainty and that we had this kind of control illusion that we could do everything what I believe it's very important to notice that it's your own experience and in that I will talk to any people that will watch this video your own experience with this situation it can be this or it can be any other situation but this is a, a scenario let's say you know it's a life scenario and these are the conditions so how are you gonna see yourself in these conditions there are many situations that invite us to pause to make a pause in our lives so even if you choose to go to a retreat or even if you just like life force you to be in a situation like this you have the observation of yourself you can be aware of what you are experiencing and i have this sensation that um, instagram and friends and we're all like kind of watching how to experience this in the right way and not do it in the wrong way i believe this is just an experience for you to observe what is going on with you yeah and that goes deeper and deeper and deeper because once you make a pause you have the opportunity to really observe your garden and i like to call the mind the garden if you can see this garden as the entrance of your own house do you like this garden when you're now in quarantine in your house and thinking and observing your experience do you like the garden you have with your thoughts do you like do you think it's a an appealing and not let's not go through judgment here let's not say oh this is a good garden and this is a bad garden it's just a garden but make sure that you you are the one observing that garden and not your family or not Instagram or not social media or not your friends your eyes must be watching that garden and experience if you like it or not and you always have the chance to remove this plant and to pick this plant and put it here and to oh I don't want this plant anymore or I'm gonna grow new seeds and I'm gonna take time to harvest something that it's gonna I'm gonna like or use better it's important that you observe it and no matter how it is if you're like super hyper in the hole right now or you're like super hyper happy both experiences i am observing both people feeling guilty because they're good and people feeling guilty because they're bad guiltiness is the problem of how we should live this situation these expectations let's say so this is a great opportunity to see you have less destruction so you can really see how this garden is and through your eyes make sure that those are your eyes uh, you see okay uh, this is the situation it's not good it's not bad it is what it is 
and this is the garden on the entrance of my house because this um, influence the entrance of your house and your house I would call your house your heart you know what is true to you what is really you what you are when nobody sees what you feel and you are afraid to express or to or to post or to give or to say what is true there that's the other opportunity you have to go to a second level and say okay this is my heart this is my house once the garden can be good or bad i'm gonna fix that in a way that i really like this garden and then it doesn't matter just leave it there you know you are working on fixing and putting these plants here and not and, and it's an experience and things are gonna move one day you're gonna say okay this is perfect garden now and then one month later things are gonna move again so the mind it's something that we have to be very friend of and treat it like a garden maybe this is my own personal metaphor let's say but why I want my garden to be good? Because my goal is that this garden is not a destruction of my house. And I can truly see what it is true to me. How, how do you really can see what is the true of you and what is all these conceptions that you have about your how, oh my God, I have to be working out and I have to be doing a project and doing a website and be millionaire by the end of the month and have like, 10k followers and do this and go there well it's where you put your value and your heart will just reveal that truth to you when you show your heart that you value that information the, the heart is not like oh please wanting to convince you to believe something your heart is like if you see the value here i give you the answers so how do you see value in that uh that's another level of this experience and as I told you, this can be any scenario. This can be a virus or what, whatever scenario you are in. We're very lucky actually to have like internet and a lot of opportunities and tools. The third level, let's say, it's, it's your own experience. The experience of going outside for me in the, in the balcony and just like having my coffee and enjoying the sun and breathing and I was like okay in the experience this feels good to me so this is a slow down and going on my own rhythm but there's this other part that okay no you have to rush and do things and because it's late and you're getting old and you know but in my experience I am seeing that this is nice, this is good, this is true. I see value in knowing and respecting my own rhythm. So then with your observation, you will see what is true to you. And usually these emotions like that we all try to, or we are so afraid of, of the lockdown, this extreme solitude and sadness and anger, all these things that we want to just like, you know, uh, run away from can be actually good compassion uh, tests of how much you can accept all of you and we are very creative human beings all the time we are creating so when you are bored you will start creating problems and start okay then I have to do this or no this is a no blah, blah, blah. but it's very mental so that's why I'm gonna bring you again in this story the garden if you just stay in the garden fixing all the time everything that is in your garden you're gonna miss the real deal of the experience so the garden is interesting place to see what are we thinking what kind of patterns of, or thoughts we have but it's not the house once you put the garden in a way that it's like okay this works for me and i know this is like always moving and always being on creation you enter your house where is your truth and then you enter and you say to your heart hey hi I'm, I'm here and i really see the value in what you have to give me because you are gonna tell me what what i am and what i need and what i like and what i don't like and how can i let myself unfold into the world by that then you go to the experience and i say oh i like you see i told you I, i'm taking this dj course because I was like, okay, I love music. I love it. I have zero expectations. I don't want to create tomorrow like an Instagram have followers in the concert. 
no 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 this is just the experience of i like this this is true to me i will just let this experience unfold so why not yeah i think i like what you said the the last thing like you are just doing this course because you just enjoy it and you just want to do it because that's who you are and you love music and that's it in the world uh, we live in we need to do something and there has to be a purpose behind it there has to be always something else i think that's when we kind of lose um the whole purpose of the activity people say that dancing or like activities like this is like a kind of meditation when you are dancing you are just enjoying the the whole experience of dancing there's nothing else we are missing the point when we are doing something because we want to get a result out of it there's there's a paradox though in this thing because an instructor gives you um Kind of safety you know a kind of like a illusion of you feel more secure you can predict more you can make more decisions etc but when you are letting something unfold you cannot just trap it with a structure but to let things unfold first you need this kind of like freedom to let things be and not a structure and i will use the example of the dj course so uh, I'm not gonna put a structure, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna then start touring and creating an Instagram and calling agents and I'm not in that point. I'm letting this experience unfold first. So there's this paradox of what we want to let things be and flow, but at the same time we have to, we want things on control and to have plans and to proceed with those plans. In my case, in this DJ course, okay, I am letting this unfold and when I feel it's time, if it's so, I will know how to put on a structure when it's needed, because I will know. It's not from the anxiety that I want to put this structure, because if I put this structure to my own new unfolding, then this is gonna be impregnated by that energy, that energy of, oh, I want to control the anxiety, I need control and results and we don't want that. But if you put the structure of, oh my God, I think I have the talent and I practice like 200 hours and I think now I'm good enough to make a, a living from this and that I can start showing the world what I am creating, then the structure will come itself and things will come from that energy because it's honest energy we have all this kind of um, a spiritual or well-being path that are open to us this is also another paradox so we are in a, such a system of control that we want healing from the control so that's why there's a lot of yoga and other things going on and this is a time where it's the most uh, tools we have available because we want the healing of the control and we want to control how we heal so there's more control and there's more heal and so you are getting trapped in many way in many places and the place where it first was like a stiff and just mental now it's just like oh we just salad and just work out so it's more control the good thing is that in this pandemic situation a lot of things are falling apart so uh, the sense of control it's kind of falling a little bit more and i feel depression and many mental health issues emotional issues spiritual issues whatever you want to call it comes from this not letting yourself be so when you just like chill let yourself be put the structures to the things that are important there's no way to live this but i know People are very need practical uh, things, and I, I feel that a very practical thing that you can take from this call or this video, it's about observe experience and see what has value for you. Because I have the sensation that it's just like money and this and that, which is of course when you don't have it because of this situation, you don't have a job anymore or this then the value for you is to to see how to cope with this situation and in the best way possible and to let yourself unfold in this situation your best possibility 
I hope this video was helpful it opened my mind a little bit more like to see things in a different perspective so it was definitely really worth it to have that conversation with Caro. I will leave all her links um, in the description and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.